Hi, my name is Frank White and welcome to another one of my YouTube videos. Today I am going to talk about the four frame count, the four frame sensor as found on this Canon EI6D and the crop sensor, which is an APS-C sensor that's found on this Canon T2i. Now, with that said, you may ask, what's the difference between a crop sensor and a full frame sensor and why would I care? Very simply, the full frame sensor allows you to record more data, more information than a crop sensor. Um, and let me try to put it in perspective like this. Let's say you have two 20 megapixel cameras. One is a crop sensor and the other is a four frame sensor camera. Well, if they're both 20 megapixel and I got a larger surface on the four frame camera to, to fill up 20 megapixels, then it's then the reason that on the crop sensor camera, the megapixels have to be smaller to fill a, the, the relatively the, sa the same space. Um, so if I draw a square and in that square, I've got four circles and I draw a larger square and I still got four circles, then the circles in that larger square would have to be bigger to fill the same space. And that's the, that's the, um, the way the sensors work on, on full frame cameras. So I'm, I'm actually having larger megapixels in a full frame camera, which it's then the reason they can capture more light or record more data. Okay, so with that said, let's move on. I'm gonna take the T2i and the, the full frame cam cameras and I'm gonna ultimately load them onto this tripod and show you pictures. But before I do that, I'm gonna move the body covers on both cameras and kind of let you look into them. Hopefully you can see the difference in the mirrors that approximates the size of the, of the sensors. So with that, I'm gonna put the body caps down. Okay, so this is the full frame mirror and this is the crop sensor. So hopefully you can get a really good picture of what they look like and I'm turning them so that the sun can really show you the difference in the size of the of the sensors see okay so okay so at this point I've got the crop sensor camera mounted on the tripod and the, the plan is to take a picture of the scene with the crop sensor on the tripod. I got the tripod locked down. So after I take the picture with the crop sensor, then I'm gonna mount the, the four frame camera and take a picture with it too. And I'm gonna put up the crop sensor, put up the, fit, the pictures as I take them so that you can see the differences and then I'm going to show them to you side by side. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a picture with the crop sensor camera. And got that one. Now, through the magic of video, I'm going to miraculously make this one a full frame. Doo -doo! And there you go. Now, 
Watch I miraculously make this full frame camera a wad of $100 bills stacked from here to there on top of this tripod. It didn't work. Well, anyway, so since it didn't work, I guess what I need to do is just go ahead and take a picture with this camera with the same settings that I used with the last camera. And let's go ahead and take the picture on the full frame camera. Also, I should mention that with the larger size sensor, uh, it's capturing, in addition to it capturing more information, then it's also capturing that information from a, a larger area. As you can see, you as, as you see from the pictures, um, how much more area a full frame sensor would capture uh, with, every el with everything else being equal. Um, so I hope I've been able to help you understand or explain somewhat what the difference is between the full frame camera and a crop sensor camera is. Uh, I own both. Both of them take excellent pictures. Uh, I generally use my crop sensor camera uh, for video. Um, I'm actually recording on a on a Rebel T4i, and I also use my crop sensor camera when I'm going to um, shoot fast action, like um, like my daughter's soccer. Um, games and if I'm going birden or looking for wildlife or, uh, or anything of the sort. Uh, for for frame, I tend to want to use that for my landscape work, for my portrait work, um, and just about anything in between. In fact, um, I find myself being conflicted with when, I'm, when I want to go out and just take some general pictures, which camera body I want to use. Um, one thing that's worth noting is that that lenses, at least in Canon's case, um, lenses that are made specifically for the crop sensor, the crop sensor cameras, or the APS-C cameras, uh, cannot be used on the crops on the full frame bodies. Let me say that again: the lenses that are specifically made for the crop sensor cameras, at least by Canon, cannot be used on the four frame bodies because they physically won't fit and trying to force them, um, you run the risk of damaging uh, the, the mirror that's, uh, that's in front of your system, that's in front of your sensor. Um, so with that said, those lenses that won't work on a full frame body are, to say that again, those lenses that won't work on the full frame body are the lenses that's designated with the dash S, an EF dash S lens is specifically made for the crop sensor body. Now, there are some excellent E F-S lenses out there. Uh, specifically, what comes to mind is the the 17 to 55 uh, millimeter uh, ES EF-S lens. Now, I do find that my that some of my DI lenses uh, for that Sigma mate, uh, even if they are made specifically for the crop sensor body, will fit the the um the full frame body so so you know um if you do use a di lens on a full frame be sure to take a close look at it to make sure that it's built the same as a ef mount lens and with that guys thank you for watching my youtube video if you like this video please give me a thumbs up that helps other people like it and helps people find my videos uh, in the search in the YouTube search engines. 
uh, leave a comment if you have any questions or comments uh, on this subject. And don't forget to subscribe. If you're going to shoot anybody today, shoot them with a cannon or a camera of your choice. Happy shooting.